so hello everybody, I'm Thomas Kral. Just to quickly introduce myself, I'm coming here from Switzerland, which is a small country in the middle of mountains. So the Swiss people are quite proud to their traditions, to their savoir-faire. And uh, I'm coming here from Ecal, which is a design school in uh, Lausanne, which is quite known thanks to his director, Pierre Keller. And the um, school since 2007 have a new building which was designed by the architect Bernard Chumi. This is just a couple of images of projects made by the, by the students at ECAL, especially from the new luxury course we just started last year. Uh, this is just a couple of images of uh, how I imagine the design process, which for me is a, collabor uh, it's a teamwork uh, that uh, people create structures, people create good products with a lot of details and a lot of um, that, need, that need fit, uh, fit one to the other. And um, so in this, in this teamwork, everybody has a specific function. There is like also kind of coordinator the need to keep a good rhythm and need to check also if the structure is able to stand up and not uh, crash as this was the end of our workshop. So this is my graduation project for in a luxury, in a luxury course that I, that I made last year. And um, so it's a collaboration with uh, Christophe, which is a French luxury brand, which makes objects in, uh, in silver. And uh, they asked us to, to design to design a tea set. So my idea it was to, to I was inspired by the idea of, idea of balancing and, and floating like the objects that float on the water on the water level. So there is also kind of idea of uh, reflection. So the plate is uh, very simple, uh, very simple. Uh, this is another project I made for this uh, graduation. So it's a mo much more sculptural piece, which is. A cand candelabra cast in, uh, ca cast in bronze, and uh, so the idea is that you can use it as a sample candle holder, or you can, or you can open it by the simple movement and put uh, put four candles at the same time. Uh, this project is uh, called Plaque, which is a mm, which is a transformation of this image of the sample cork bottle stopper. So I'm using uh, two materials: uh, cork as a perfect porous material and uh, glass, which is, um, which is hard and compact material. And uh, so my cork parts were mild using, using CNC, and I decided uh, to keep the marks of the, of the tools, uh, which uh, you know, tools as a part of the construction of my pieces as a kind of logical decoration. So at the end, the pieces are quite simple. It's um, bowls, tables, uh, and uh, lamps. And uh, so I was more focused on this idea of connection and that, that, the, that the cork part, become, that the plug becomes something else, like, for example, the lamp shader or the, or, or the tabletop surface. And this project is uh, it's called Upgrade, and it's uh, about the connecting craft and industrial. So I'm using um, traditional techniques for, uh, for decoration of crystal glass, and I apply them to the industrial glass and jars. So the techniques are cutting, gilding, and graving, and, and I just simply started by the application of very traditional decorations, and then I go further with the project and, and uh, develop my own interventions with, uh, which are inspired by the idea of labels, labels that, uh, that you have on these uh, industrial packaging jars when you, buy them, when you buy them in the shops. This project is much more about uh, how to how to generate shapes, uh, how to generate shapes from existing elements by combining, uh, by cutting. So it's a set of uh, glasses made from uh, made from industrial industrial glass. So I just select uh, just select the the bottles, cut them, combine them, and as I'm using industrial glass, I decided to keep some of some of these details, like the twist, for example. This project is. Uh, about exploring, exploring blowing, glass blowing process, which is um, during this process quickly you need to you need to turn the the, gla the glass part inside that that the piece uh, have this perfect shape from the mold and I'm, during this process sometimes uh, the piece can block inside the mold and deform and the piece is defected. I'm using and I decided to use this defection as a part of my as a part of my final piece. This project is um, called uh, Transportable Lab Counter, and it's about the idea to prepare your, uh, your vegetables to peel your potatoes uh, in the sit for cooking in the sitting position, so very relaxed uh, in front of the TV, for example. 
Uh, this is a project um, uh, which is a collection of lamps made, uh, made in wire material and I'm using the tension in the material to, to fix uh, the lamp shaders, to adjust the height of the lamp or to clip, uh, to clip the, the lamp on the corner of the table. This project is just much more about um, how to reduce the, the, the cost of the production. So I'm just designing one element which is repeated and uh, screwed together. And, uh, and so it's a, it's a stool made in aluminum sheets. And the end of my presentation is a, it's an intervention when I, that I made for experimental showcase in Lausanne, which calls La Placette. And it's a, te it's, it's a temporary uh, uh, presentation. I decided, to work, uh, I decided to work with existing elements. So I'm taking this kind of strangely beautiful um, PVC plumbing uh, pipes and I, that are used in the architecture in, inside a building that create already kind of sculptures. So that's it. Thank you very much.